Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Web Predication's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, you're learning how to chat with yourself on WhatsApp. Now, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you need to send someone a WhatsApp message because you want to save a link or a document or even maybe a shopping list that you want saved somewhere in WhatsApp so you can access it later without losing it because WhatsApp will save it in the web and you can access that anytime you want. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you how to do the same thing, but this time, you're going to be sending the message to yourself. It's like texting yourself on WhatsApp, and this will get rid of all the awkwardness when you send someone some random, unexpected, and useful, at least to them, messages on WhatsApp. Now, I'll be showing you this on mobile because that's why most of us use WhatsApp, but you can do this on WhatsApp web or the desktop application. Now, you should have WhatsApp installed and already running on your smartphone. Now, but close WhatsApp first and go to your favorite browser. Now, in your browser, you want to type this URL and you want to replace this access with your phone number, like your full phone number. So for mine, it's going to be that address and then I'm going to finish with my full phone number together with my country code. Make sure you don't forget that country code. It's very, very important. Now, with that typed in, simply go to that URL. And it's going to prompt you to chat on WhatsApp on that number. And you want to tap on continue chat. And it's going to take you to WhatsApp and open a chat, an empty chat, but with your phone number. So basically, you're going to be sending a message to your own phone number. So I can send a message like, hi, first. And send. And it's going to be sent and received and read at the same time because it's my phone number it's the same account that i have on whatsapp and that's how you can send messages to yourself now you can go ahead and send yourself uh, screenshots images files documents and all that and they should be kept safe in your whatsapp account now you can also do this to use whatsapp as your own personal free cloud-based service for instance you can send yourself files on your mobile and access them using your computer on WhatsApp web or send yourself uh, music files or even screenshots from your computer and access them from your mobile device. It's a very nifty way of doing things and sending yourself files and links and documents. Anyway, that's how to send yourself WhatsApp messages or how to chat with yourself on WhatsApp. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.